up guys had a long day today didn't work though or I should say I didn't get paid for my work just wanted to show you guys a trailer I got a few days ago finally got around to painting it today also got a new tool I wanted to show you guys it's pretty sweet I do have one uh, little thing I don't like about the tool that I just got, but what's up, Luis? I just finished painting the trailer. Well, not finished painting. I'm done with the first stage of painting it. So I figured I'd show you guys what it looks like. Boom. That's the trailer, guys. It's not done yet. We're gonna put Van Dyne right there. And then it's gonna have an orange stripe all the way down the side. The orange stripe will probably go underneath Van Dyne right there and then come back up and then, or it'll just stop right there and then start right there, who knows. Yeah, buddy. It's a pretty sweet paint job, huh? So, and we're going to do uh, the orange stripe here. I, sh I can show you guys what color orange it'll be. It's not 100% the same orange as... That was my buddy telling me to paint the rims black, which I'm going to do. Um... Let me uh, show you guys what color orange it'll be. I grease this thing. So it is a little bit easier to uh, lift it up. Oh, I forgot. There's blocks underneath this side, so won't go down all the way uh, forget it I'll just show you this way I painted the cylinder orange basically that's the color orange it's gonna be right there it's not a hundred percent like the orange we got up here it's just a hair different I don't know if you guys can tell. It's a little different. It's not a whole lot different. It's the closest thing Lowe's had to, uh, you know, the orange that the dump truck was. So, that's where we're at, guys. I'm pretty dirty, actually. I've been sanding that thing down for the past you know a few hours so I'm pretty dirty oh yeah the tool I got I wanted to show you guys is this belt sander right here this belt sander right here this is the Hitachi belt sander pretty sweet little belt sander 3 by 21 is the belt size um, yeah, you like it? How's it look? Why are you throwing that at me? Uh, say hi. Hi. Anyways, um, my plan for the trailer, uh, definitely haul my backhoe on it. Love you, babe. Are you getting my ignition switch? Yeah, I didn't finish it. Okay. Um, my plan for the trailer is, is to haul my backhoe on it. I also want to get a excavator, you know, so we're going to get one of those pretty soon. Well, not soon, next year. Uh, probably like a 138 or something comparable to that size. Not too big because then we won't be able to put it on this trailer. Um... For those of you that haven't seen the backhoe, 
There's the backhoe. I just replaced one of the hoses on it. I actually replaced two hoses. Um, I don't have any back co-work yet, but somebody did contact me about doing some land clearing. Um, the hose I just replaced, as you can see, there's a little puddle of hydraulic fluid there. This one right here was totally shot. I replaced it with a brand new one, as you can tell. So, we replaced that. Another thing I replaced today, I got a big mess here, all the stuff I've been doing. Uh, I replaced both of these airlines going from the trailer. Both of those, it needed those really bad. They were, uh, they were uh, wire ones. Like they had a wire mesh around the outside and it's totally eaten one on one side, so they were junk. Um, yeah, I'm working on getting a new ignition switch for the uh, backhoe, also starter solenoid. I'll show you the starter solenoid. Foam fill. Like, what do you mean foam? What kind of foam? These tires are shot. I need to get new tires anyways for this thing. So what I'll probably do is get new ones and fill them with foam, like you're saying. This was the old starter solenoid. Because the ignition switch uh, for the backhoe had no key, we were basically jumping across these two terminals to start it. And uh, it didn't like that, and plus it was just, it was already broke, so we finished it off. Um, yeah, what kind of, what kind of foam? What's the foam called? What kind of foam? Well, basically, um... I put the word out with everybody I've hauled dirt for that I had a uh, tilt deck and a backhoe. So now everybody that I've worked with knows. And, uh, you know, I got my Facebook business page. I'm going to put, uh, do some advertising on there and I'll boost the post. Um, and we're going to get some business that way. I already had one person contact me if I did some land clearing and uh, stump removal and they wanted to know if I had an excavator, which I don't have an excavator yet. Um, so I don't know if the backhoe counts as an excavator because it does have a hoe on it, you know, so I don't really count it. So I said, no, I don't have an excavator. Thanks, Andrew. Um, but yeah, basically to get business for the backhoe, I'm just gonna, you know, do exactly what I did for the dump truck. Just tell everybody, you know, I'm really good at bragging about what I have. Uh, you know, I just tell everybody everything I've done and got. So, you know, the word spreads pretty quick, you know. Um, yeah, I try to be humble about it though. You know, I'm just so excited. Like, four months in, and I already got a tilt deck and a backhoe. Like, dude, that's insane, you know. And so, basically, you guys are probably wondering, like, why did I buy a backhoe and a tilt deck? Like, why didn't I buy another truck, you know? And basically, the reason being is, is I want to make my business as diversified as possible and then what i'm going to do is it's going to grow you know if i can do everything i can run a monopoly right i can do the land clearing i can do the hauling myself i can do you know boom 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 the more things i can do the more grip of the industry i can get a hold of and that's kind of what i'm thinking in my head um 
it is good to specialize in one thing though get really good at one thing and uh you know i feel like i'm pretty competent now at driving dump truck you know and so you know that's why i decided to kind of expand this way instead of buying uh you know another dump truck or something and uh you know i i've always loved having equipment my grandpa's owned a case 530 for i don't know 10 years now and i loved operating that thing and you know it's just something i enjoy and when you have your own equipment dude that is so cool because you know if you want to clear some land or you know i have property in shelton so when i go to build my house i uh I want to do the land clearing myself you know what i mean i don't want to have to pay somebody so that's another reason why i got a backhoe you know plus i couldn't pass it up for the price you know three thousand bucks you know if i wasn't going to buy it my grandpa was and i didn't want him buying it it's just too much of a financial burden for him you know and the business is taken off so we had cash flow to do it paid cash for it oh I didn't show you guys. I'll show you guys the buckets now. It's got a two foot bucket, a straight one, right? Then it's got a one foot bucket, and then a three foot bucket with a spot on it. Or maybe that's two foot bucket. Oh, that is a two foot bucket. Okay, two foot bucket with a flat spot. Two foot. Uh, maybe this is a foot and a half. I guess that's a foot and a half. It's a flat spot. Anyways, that one's for grading. That one over there, I believe. You know, which is pretty sweet. And then the other two, you know, we can use for digging because they got the claws on them. <sighs> yep. So basically, I want to show you guys in depth, kind of, you know, the backhoe. Some of the hoses are in disrepair, as you can see. It's leaking, not right there, it's leaking from up here. And draining down. My buddy Corey's calling me. I'll call him back later. Anyways, that's draining down. The seal's bad getting all this stuff all wet this hose isn't broken though must be good on the inside <laughs> just kidding guys um this thing probably hasn't been greased in 10 years so one of the things i'm gonna do is i'm gonna replace not right now but uh you know when next springtime rolls around we're gonna put a ton of money into this thing And uh, we're going to put new hoses on it. And, uh, you know, these actually have street pads. Um, underneath their little rubber parts that go down. You can see part of it right there. They're really junky, though, so they probably need to be remade. But, yeah, a few of the hoses are toast. <laughs> So, not all of them are bad, but, you know, quite a few of them are. You know, they're just really old. So, I'd like to, you know, replace some of those. The tires are shot. These tires. This one is, like, the only good tire, and it's not even that good. This tire is not that bad either. The other side is, tires are shot. I'll show you. We got that. It's hold, they're holding air though, for the most part. Oh, we got a spider coming out of there. Look at that. Whoa, look at that pincher bug. I hate those earwigs. Anyways, that tire shot. So. Yeah, it needs some work, but, you know, nothing I'm afraid to do. 
I cleared these back these blackberries. I never showed you guys with it where all this wood is. Pushed all that stuff back. That was pretty sweet. Getting the hang of it. Operating this thing. What do you guys think of that blue? You guys like that blue color? I think I should have done a little bit darker. But uh, that's safety blue. Rust-Oleum right there. And no, I didn't use a rattle can to paint it. <laughs> that would have taken way too long. I got this electric... Uh, I'll show you. I got this electric... Um, spray gun. My grandpa got two of them for free. This is what it looks like. It's pretty sweet. Sweet little... That's it right there. We got two of them for free. So, yeah. Can't wait. I want to paint the uh, JCB too. So, I think we're going to paint that blue too. But I'm not 100% sure. What do you guys think? Or should I paint it orange? Maybe I'll paint it orange. That'd be pretty sweet looking. What do you guys think? Orange? Here. Try and visualize. Orange or blue? If I did blue, it'd kind of look like a new Holland tractor. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I want to do it blue. Maybe I'll just do orange. Who knows? That's going to take a lot longer to paint than one day, though. Which is gonna suck. Trailer only took me one day to paint. Basically, I sanded it down. The toughest part about painting that trailer was the stickers that ran all the way down it. That would not come off. So I used my wire wheel on my angle grinder and, you know, it took it off slowly, but it came off. Anyways, business is going great, guys. We've made $70,000 so far four months so I'd say that's pretty good worked my butt off for it um, I didn't have any work yesterday didn't have any work today don't have any work tomorrow uh, what's tomorrow Wednesday Wednesday Thursday I don't have any work for yet but uh, Friday day Friday night and Saturday I got work, so that's three days. So basically what's killing business right now for me is there's this uh, strike going on. I think it's the 302 union. Um, it's the operators union. And uh, ever since they went on strike, it seems like a lot of the work dried up. You know, like basically what happened was is the asphalt plants and all that, they all shut down. And... Uh, so basically all the people that were doing asphalt went to dirt, you know, and since I'm so new, I don't know a lot of people, you know, basically I haven't been able to find any work. So, yeah, that's that. Well, I hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing great. I love being an owner operator, business owner. It's the coolest thing ever, you know. You just get a you one thing about being a business owner is you got to stay busy. You're going to be if you're a busy type person like you stay busy like no matter what, you could be successful. You know, you can be successful at any business if you're one of the type of persons that no matter what you can find something to do. If you have to be told to find something to do, then don't even try it, dude. Don't even try it. A Dodge report? What do you mean by that, Earthworks? I don't even know what that is yet. I'm gonna set you guys down right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I need to make some money. 
It'd be nice to make some money, but there just ain't any money to be made right now. Sorry about that, guys.